Okay, class, today we are going to proceed with our next lesson that is cell division. Okay, cell division is the easiest topic in your syllabus. And why do you think cell need to be divided? Okay, cell division is occur in all living organisms for growth and development. Okay, cell division, there are two types of cell division that occur in living organisms. That is mitosis and meiosis. Okay, mitosis occur in all type of cells such as somatic cell while meiosis occur in reproductive cells only okay so today i'm going to emphasize more on mitosis Okay, what is mitosis? Mitosis is a type of cell division that duplicate the chromosome into two sister chromatids and at the end will produce two eukaryotic cells from one eukaryotic cell. So basically, there are four fundamental phases in mitosis that is prophase, Metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So how you you are going to remember these four phases? So there are one acronym that you can use to remember these four phases. That is prime. Minister at Thailand. Prime Minister at Thailand. Prophase, Medavis, Anavis, Telavis. Okay? So before mitosis, there will be interface. For each eukaryotic cell, there will be centrosomes and chromosomes. Okay? During prophase, these chromosomes will form two identical sister chromatids. each of the chromosomes. It will form two identical sister chromatids where the sister chromatids are joined at a point known as the centromere. Okay? And the centrosomes will form mitotic spindle And at the end of the central zones will form a structure known as the ester. Alright? So, during metaphase, the central zones will move further from each other, causing it to invade the nuclear region, which is at the middle, by lengthening its microtubules. Okay, due to this nuclear region being invaded, so the chromosomes will be condensed and at the centromere it will form one protein structure known as the kinetochore. Okay? Produce a protein structure known as the kinetochore at the centromere, which this structure later hold the chromosomes to bind at the magnetic spindles called as the 
equator. Or known as the metaphase plate. Alright. The kinetochoral microtubules will be condensed and cause the sister chromatid to be separate from each other. And the sister chromatid will move to the opposite poles of the centrosomes. Okay, during telophase. This cell will be pinches and cause a cleave to be formed known as the cleavage furrow. Okay? Later, it will form two similar eukaryotic cells that contain identical dotted nuclei. That is the same with the parent cells. Okay? So, how are you are going to memorize all of this during your exam? I created one simple step for you to follow. Okay. During process, the nucleolide will be disappear and form two sister chromatids that are identical to each other from one chromosome. Okay? These chromosomes later will align to the metaphase plate or known as the equator okay and then during anaphase the kinetochoral microtubule will be condensed causing the sister chromatid to be separated and form two cells that is similar to their parent cells okay